Saturday at the Festival of the Bells, that evening's headliner, Jason Michael Carroll, granted the Times-Gazette a one-on-one -on -one interview prior to taking the stage. I love coming to historic towns like Hillsborough because I've had the chance to walk around today, check out some of the festivities here at the fair. I went and ate at a local diner. I, we try to check out local diners everywhere we go because one, we like food, two, we like to meet people in the community. And we went down to McGee's today and uh, yeah, we actually met some folks down there like Lee back there, he's laughing at me right now. <laughs> hey darling, how are you? Um, and uh, yeah, so we've had a great time here. The crowd heard a preview of songs from Carol's upcoming album, as well as heard him perform his chart-topping hits such as Live in Our Love Song, Where I'm From, and Alyssa Lies. Carol also talked a little bit about his summer tour schedule. You know what, we're touring like crazy. We've been all over the place in this country, and it looks like we're going to be going to California, Seattle, all over the place. Earlier in the day, a pet parade, cornhole tournament, car show, cloggers, and a human tractor pull rounded out the festival schedule and entertained those in attendance, including the Highland County Clerk of Courts, Paulette Donnelly. And I've enjoyed every moment started Thursday night and we were here for the Natalie Grant show. We love the shows in the evenings and the smiles on the kids' faces as we go up and down High Street. Though the festival has officially come and gone, entertainment chair Rick Williams told the Times-Gazette the festival committee has already begun work on locking down next year's primetime entertainers. The main square in Uptown Hillsboro saw thousands walk its pavement over the weekend. By early Sunday morning, the square was empty only a scattering of vehicles to be seen, and a sunrise welcoming the city to the 4th of July.